this week we're going to be featuring our quirky labels and uh, hopefully these ones don't disappoint. We are starting off with one we've had before which is the Labette. This is a Rhone uh, blend, Grenache Syrah, 70% Grenache, 30% Syrah. It's on the lighter side of things. I think it's got the perfect little label if you're planning a Halloween party. It's got a wolf, looks like a wolf on it. So I thought this would be perfect planning ahead. And then we're moving on. Um, this is our um, Cabernet Franc. This comes from France. And um, we really like the Cabernet Franc here. It's so different. Everybody assumes the Cabernet is going to be more Cabernet-like. Um, and this has got a little bit more earthiness. And I wrote in my notes, and it's ironic, that this is a wine that you can drink when you're happy, you're sad, or you're tired. And um, that kind of describes me these days. So um, this would be a, a good one. A very limited amount of this one uh, left. And this one features the grandmother's kitchen, so it's got kitchen utensils on it. I thought it was really cute. Uh, then we're moving on to our, um, our uh, Mencia. Uh, that's the grape uh, from Spain. And they actually originally thought that it was genetically related to Cabernet Franc. Uh, so there are some similarities. This one tends to be just slightly bigger in flavor, obviously from a different region. Um, you're getting a little bit bigger, bolder flavors, but it doesn't sit too heavy on the palate. You get cola, you get a little bit of licorice, and dark fruit. Then we're moving on. This is the Writer's Block Syrah. Um, we've had this. It's been a while since we've carried it in the shop, and I'm uh, still a fan of Syrah. Um, as things are cooling down here, I've always um, um, said it's great with barbecue, but it's also good for heartier fare. So if you've got you know, as we're cooling down and we're starting to eat a little bit heavier, this is a perfect, um, this is a perfect wine with food. Then we're moving on. This is an old vine, uh, Zinfandel, all California fruit. This one um, is single vineyard from Nova Vineyard, and it's got an old man with a, with a beard on it, and I thought it was kind of cute. Um, we sell a lot of old vines in Fidel because of its jammier characteristic when you leave the grapes on the vine longer. They just get more concentrated fruit and again that classic spice of the Zinfandel grape. Last, this is one that Bonnie found um, and uh, we brought in a case of it and it sold out so quickly. Uh, this is the Squirt Gun Cabernet Sauvignon, kind of a classic California Cabernet profile. This is the 2010 Vineyard. Instead of bringing in one case, we brought in three cases. So we'll have plenty of this on hand. It's got a great little squirt gun on it. And um, this one is all Napa Valley fruit. Um, and because we bought more of it, we've got a better price on it. So I think this one comes in at $27.99, which is slightly above the price, normal price point, but definitely uh, worthwhile and, um, and about $5 a bottle uh, cheaper than we had it featured before. So um, everybody come on in. Uh, we hope to see you this week. The patio is always a great place to hang out. And we've got more and more people sitting inside because it's a little chilly, but we've got the blankets to keep you warm and the, and the heaters if it, gets too, if it gets too cold. Everybody, please, please, please stay happy, stay healthy. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Bye, everyone.